let's do some more substitution examples. Let's say we are looking at the integral of x squared over 1 minus 4x cubed dx. Well, we don't have anything in parentheses. We don't have anything in a function. Ah, but if you look at the denominator, it's basically a constant in x squared cubed. When you take the derivative of it, you're going to get some number of x squareds. Ha ha, we have those. If you set u equal to 1 minus 4x cubed, this is the using it, setting the u equal to the denominator trick, du is negative 12x squared dx, and that means that x squared dx is negative 1 12th du. And this right up here is x squared dx is this. We can turn it into 1 12th negative. So up top we have negative 1 12th du. And down below the whole 1 minus 4x cubed becomes just a u. This is kind of ugly until you realize that you can pull constants out. And this is negative 1 12th of du over u, or for some reason it's so much prettier to look at this as negative 1 12th integral of 1 over u du. And then you say, hey, I know whose derivative is 1 over u du. That would be negative 1 12th, the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. And you plug your u, you can turn your u's back into x's, and negative 1 12th, the natural log of the absolute value of 1 minus 4x cubed plus c, and we are done. You want to check that? You can check that. Its derivative is x squared over 1 minus 4x cubed, and so that is the right answer. Let's try some trickier things. And there's tricks. There's lots of tricks on these things. Let's say you want to do the integral of uh, the natural log of x over x dx. And now you say there's nothing in parentheses. The function has just of x. I mean, if you ever substitute u equals x alone, you're just changing all your u's into x's. It doesn't change it at all. Uh, the denominator is x. Its derivative, again, u equal to x. It would just turn it into a natural log of u over u du. Pretty much the same thing. Ah, but the trick here is if you set u equal to the natural log of x, then the derivative of u is 1 over x dx, which we have, right? This is the integral of natural log of x times 1 over x dx. And so your natural log of x gets turned into just a u, and the 1 over x dx turns into just du. And now you say, hey, that's u squared over 2 plus c, which is, I'll call the over 2, 1 half, 1 half of what's u squared? The natural log of x squared plus c. And... If you took the derivative of this, it's 1 half something squared. You take the derivative, the 2 comes in front, cancels out with the 1 half. You have natural log of x to the 1 power times the derivative of what's inside, which is 1 over x, which is natural log of x over x. Booyah! Uh, that's, let me do the next example as a separate video.